By 10 a.m. this morning, business at Crane Forex Bureau was only but what looked like phone calls of stranded employees. The bureau, together with three other bureaus run by the Sudi Ruparelia family whose licenses had expired, were not renewed by the central bank. At a presser this afternoon, Bank of Uganda officials noted that the directors of the Forex Bureau did not meet the requirements for relicensing. As we consider renewal for licenses, we take into account so many things. Among them is fitness and probity of the people that are in those forex bureaus, including shareholders and management. So if they don't meet that standard, we always have an option not to renew the licenses. The fitness and probity test of the bank requires that directors applying to the forex bureaus are not under any investigation or have not prevailed over a bank that was sent into receivership. Sources at the central bank remain tight-lipped over what part of the test the bureaus, one of the oldest in Kampala, failed to meet. But I think I was very clear when I stated that uh, we do examine fitness and probity. I was as clear as that. So uh, my answer still remains that uh, as we renew licenses for forex bureaus, we examine so many things among them, fitness and probity of the people in the forex bureau. Sudiru Parelia, a current director who was also the director of Crane Bank, which went into receivership last year, was bought off by DFCU Bank. Attempts to get a comment from him were futile after his handlers said he had declined all media interviews. The move to deny the four Forex Bureau's licenses is yet another indicator in the unraveling story of business mogul Sudiru Parelia. The story of business mogul Sudiru Parelia might have taken a turn for the worst and it might be one that grips headlines for much longer as today he finds four of his forex bureaus including one where his famous enterprise story starts closed. Raymond Mujuni, NTV.